boat ramp. This is the. This is um. This is the receivers that will be uh, attached to the cable that you see. So you can tell they're not not terribly large, but um, they have a battery inside of them, um, and you can tell that it's recording because it will just flash every 10 seconds or so. And basically, as a fish swims by, um, and it, a tag fish swims by. These uh, will be able to pick them up up to about 400 meters away. So we that's, have that's a pretty long way. Yeah. Do the fish have different um, sounds or tones? How do you know the difference in the fish? Yeah. So every tag um, emits a series of five pings, and those pings will go off at different rates. Okay. And so that's how it will be able to register um, exactly what tag number and what fish it is as it swims by. So each one has like a unique ID basically. Okay. And so that's registered on y'all's paperwork beforehand with the fish number, the tag number, so yeah. you'll know which one's going where. Yeah, so like when we're doing, we actually have to um, implant the tags uh, using surgery. So um, we will, you know, be recording the tag number, the external tag number, the length and weight of the fish, where we caught it, how we caught it. Um, so we'll be able to individually track each fish as they make their migrations and so what we're going to try to do is try to get you some of that footage of the actual insert of the tag and so you can see what a finished product looks like how the fish has got the dorsal tag the the little green dorsal tag on it um, that way you'll know what you're looking at when they come around um, anything yeah. else you want to add to um, just you know these things can store up to um, you know millions of pings and so we're going to try to get out on the rivers and download um, the receivers probably every other month every two months so you know each receiver could be storing months worth of uh, information which is why it's really important that we keep them in the water um, and intact for when we come back out to, to download all that information so recently we've had lots of rain and with lots of rain the lakes the lakes holding water back to keep people downstream from flooding out what we want to do is we want to make sure that, that the stuff that they're doing just is working so if you come by and you see um, the cable hanging down and you see the little ribbon wrapped around the tree and you happen to see one of these receivers hanging there please reach out like I said that her Hi. contact information will be in the video please let her know don't move it they they have GPS. They know where they're at. They don't want anybody messing with it. Um, if you don't mind, call them. They got cable. They'll come move it. They'll come lock it back up how it needs to be. She just needs to know if you see one that's out of water. That way, it's that won't work. It's got to be in water to work. Um, they don't attract fish, so don't just go sit on top of them and fish. Uh, all it is is basically an underwater microphone, and it's listening for a, a beep or a ping or a noise. And it's just something specific that they have that they can keep up with. So um, we're just trying to get this information out there to the public so y'all can share it around on social media. That way the more people that understand what's going on, they can keep from hurting it. You know, we want it, we, we really need this information to know what's going on. That way we can maintain a healthy population of fish. Um, it's really a great recreational sport. Um, lots of people love the uh, white bass run. They love catching white bass. I know there's going to be a lot of comments and a lot of people talking about enforcement and the buckets and the things like that. This is before you get to the enforcement part. If y'all want enforcement, you got to lobby for it. That requires money and funding and things like that. It, all, all this stuff requires money. Is this your taxpayers' money? Yes. But take that conversation somewhere else. What we're talking about here is the biology of it. How do these fish get to grow that size? What happens? Where do they breed at? You know, this information, it turns in the long run, it'll give you more places to fish. If you know where the fish are spawning and the spawning runs are occurring, you can find those places, other places on the lake, more than just here. This is a real popular one because the access is pretty easy. So I'm sure that they'll probably have some uh, of these same acoustic trackers down towards the lake itself to know if the fish migrate back out of here going back towards the lake see if they have any pings um, for later on in the season.
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really what it's all about. Um, we're doing this research so that, you know, we can better understand the population and then in turn we can distribute that information to anglers who might not know the system very well or want to learn a little bit more about wet bass. Um, we'll be able to, you know, kind of better understand the population after this, this project, so. Well, thank you all for your support. Um, look us up on Facebook if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to contact me. I'll get you in touch with Kelsey if you need to get in touch with Kelsey or uh, her email address will be tagged uh, at the end of the video. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.